Yeah. Ingray. Okay, we're we're using grapple. Uh, I know Ray does that, and it's not his fault. Uh, he's going E. He's going E. I was too slow. I'm dead. That Brock melee screwed me up. <laughs> My timing was bad. Yeah, I fed. And I gave him a Dragon Ball, so f*** ah. me. I know, I know. Yeah, he has the last one. I'll go get it back. Somehow. Jesus yeah. Christ, how do you how do you get the Dragon Balls off of him? <sighs> yeah, I threw them out, GG. Ah. Me. Already. I f***ing hate every inch of my body right now. <sighs> this is all my fault. Maybe we should have planted that key. Maybe that key should have been up a lot sooner. Happens to the best of us. No, a bomb. No! I fucked up! Again! <laughs> This was my fault. Everything about this match was 1000% my fault. Not happens to the best of us. Oh, I'm ready to cry now. God damn it. I saw Brock fighting Goldo, so I was like, okay, I'll see if I can chip in some damage, and I fucked up.
That's stun resistance, though. I guess sorry doesn't really cut it, does it? I threw for the team. I can't believe myself. Like, these are things I am able to prevent, but I just chose not to. There he was. Chance I'll use this. I had this. I know better. I'm just stalling him here, right? So I'm just doing my own thing. Oh, he just got a save a kill. At this point, when you're at 50%, you need to run away. Went up to here. This was too late. I could have killed Goldo right here. Red Gamer got a melee. I threw one death ball. Since it was a level two melee, wasn't long enough, but eh, that was bad. So like, keep in mind, this is a 12 minute. In other words, this Goldo has basically lost the game because he's already spent two and a half minutes. He's at half HP, he just needs a kill. What does Kev do? Kev decided to fuck up. Cause I saw the melee, I was like, oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll just throw it here. He just dodges. Look where my grapple is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This mistake here made him win the game. Oh no, you see it right in this picture. One, two, six. This is literally, literally the biggest throw you can do in this entire fucking game. Dying on X, this, I'd consider this as X, given how close it is. And this. <sighs> like, I knew better, and I fucked up. I literally just threw the entire game with that one choice, that one decision, that one move. I'm gonna stare at this for like five minutes and realize and never do that again. With how good and disciplined I was back uh, making smarter decisions, I mean, it's reminders like this that we all need, including myself. And everyone should realize, look at this, this is why you don't break rule one. You don't break rule one. This is... The biggest learning. This literally lost the game. Chanzo went from losing the entire game for the two and a half minutes he was playing. He went from losing, he was losing. He was getting stomped, he was done. He was fucked. There was no way he could come back from it, even with Ginyu, no way. Given all the circumstances, resources and timing and all the stalling we did, I took five seconds. I took a shortcut because I wanted a green little shit dead. It wouldn't be so impactful if I didn't have this little gold icon above my head. That gold icon says, you're an idiot, Kev. And everyone else should fucking learn this lesson. Don't do this. No matter how much you think the situation is, it's better to wait. I chose not to and I, and I felt down the entire day. I felt down, I felt like shit. This was our only loss this weekend as a group. Chanzo had no chance of winning. No chance at all. Until I took five seconds to make this play. Any naysayers are like, oh, just go steal the Dragon Ball from him. Well, we tried. So this is what happened. Cookie was getting attacked at X. I IT in, I have level one and level two with PU. I come in, burst him with one, try to do a vanish kick, Obviously he's level two, right? Shit hurts. So now we lost our member now. So now the only thing I can do is PU and try to grab him, but he's moving over here because PU in a cave, uh, it's always a mess. So now I can't even hit him. Now we clash because two and two. Aqua comes around because Aqua knows the situation pretty well. We need that fucking Dragon Ball. Aqua randomly gets hit. I try to go and attack him. Galdo saves him. It's just how strong Ginyu is holding these Dragon Balls. So that's a vase of one that he gets, right? Oh, here's Ray with the stun. I guess what? Oh, now I just need to knock out those Dragon Balls. I can't. He has that, he has that stun. Oh, just load up another Dragon Ball. Dodge. Oh, wait for Ray to hit him. Dodge. So like, 
Stealing the Dragon Balls against Ginyu is one of the fucking worst. You need the whole team to do it, and we don't have the whole team. We use all of our resources possible, and we still couldn't do it. Don't break rule one, chat, please. Learn from this dumbass. Learn from this fucking dumb shit streamer. Learn from this idiot fucking misplay that Kev killed fucking done today. We could have let Cookie die and focus on the keys instead. We could have, but we don't know. It's so hard to judge. Granted, yes, he did die at X, but... <sighs> we will never know. It's jo It just goes to show the impact of having one fucking Dragon Ball. Get Aqua, blah blah blah, go to you, do 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 okay. And here's another thing, where's our STM? We don't have STM to distract him. I see a little check mark, so maybe the key was preset, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple check marks. Which is another thing too, I don't think 99% in keys is a good idea. Just set the fucking key. Because at least then we have a chance with the supplies, and we have cover with the STM, and the raider has to be distracted by it. So, 99%ing a key, I don't think it's just worth it. And of course, I can't save Aqua because Aqua's dying and near to X, and then here's me again, and I'm dead. Wow, woo, and then look at this. We're all desperately trying to get the ball. The bomb finally gets the ball. We have no STM to distract the raider with or get supplies with, and we're all dead. Just like that. Don't break rule one. That's why it's called rule one. Sure, you could argue we overkid admitted to the Dragon Ball, like, earlier or whatever. But the same outcome would have been very inevitable. Because even without a 4, say we kill Jice, whatever. Or the auto evolve from Jice, whatever. Or Jice gets kills and absorbs players, whatever. He's still gonna turn 4. So without a 4, you're fucked with Ginyu. You need a 4 with Ginyu. You have, like, a bit better chance to win against Ginyu with a 4. Without a 4, you're fucked. You need a four against Ginyu. You give a yeah, exactly. You give any other raider. You can have a fun time without forcing four. Which is I think is healthy for the game, especially given how dead. Um, let me refresh this page. Two six like three sixty six. Like this is just horrible. New players are not gonna like this game. And it's right there. It's not new player friendly. Skills are behind a fucking stupid gotcha, right? And new players don't know, um, you know, the rules, right? Well, I call them rules is because so you don't break them. That's why this game is called Dragon Ball The Breakers. You don't break the rules, you win the game, right? You break the rules, you, you break your team. I broke rule one. That's what happened. The overtune abilities and power creep that Ginyu has, it forces people to play almost perfectly. And you break one of those rules, that's what happens. You might be able to get away by breaking a rule and with a, against another raider, but still, the rules are still in place. A decent raider, like Frieza playing, or maybe Veggie or Cell, can easily put that into his advantage. And Chanzo obviously did here. He played perfect as Raccoon. He played perfect as Raccoon. That's why I stopped playing Ginyu whenever I did solo queue, because, like, he was just too easy. I did not lose a single match. The only time, well, lost 1% of my matches, because I went with a high-level squad, and I fucked up at the very beginning. I didn't capitalize or put pressure, which is very basics of Raider gameplay anyways. But... We had all the tools, and we had all the Dragon Balls. That was the choice I made. And it doesn't just apply to Ginyu. This could have been any other Raider. All they have to do is hold the Dragon Ball. Protecting, or preventing the four, is the biggest tip I can give for Raiders. And for Survivors, protect the four. Raiders are supposed to prevent the four, Survivors protect the four. And what did I do? I fucked up.